all right welcome back everybody uh this is the build part three uh just give it an update um got the tires and wheels in as you see and i'm gonna try and make these updates even though the videos might not be that long i'll try and make them a little more often rather than space them out and have big long videos so um so i keep track of the progress a little a little quicker so the tires are in so i got the fronts on then uh just finishing up here trying to get the get the rear out um then i'm gonna be taking the drive shafts out that was a little trickier than than i thought so just take your time with that um then i just pulled the whole thing out together and just disassembled the the uh the rear 44 later as you can see the nice borla muffler sitting there Now the rear should be easier than the front, of course, because there's a lot less components to work with. One thing I didn't think about was the uh, emergency brake lines, the parking brake lines, but uh, we'll get to that a little later. All right, so the new rear's in. Starting to hook up the control arms and proven to be a little, a little tough, but you know, just take your time. Um, make sure you have all your measurements correct. I used the ones that came with Metal Cloak, and they seem to be they seem to be pretty good. But you know, just getting things lined up because the axle's heavy. You know, there's not much give in the in the control arms, and you know, I used that little jack that you know the little stock jack that came with the Jeep. You know, to kind of prep it up a little bit where I need to. All right, now the rear uh, Fox Reservoir shocks going in. Those weren't too bad, and just the bolts are kind of at an angle. Um, and I just want to make sure I didn't strip them. So, like I said before, as with anything, just just take your time. Some things that did rush and wound up stripping bolts and gotten bolts broken off, and then had to drill them out, and that's the kind of stuff that really just takes up way too much time. All right, end of another day. I uh, got the rear all uh, control arms in, brake lines, shocks, springs, everything enough so I can get it mounted, so I can get the measurements to the drive shaft. So I'm gonna give to Adams tomorrow, see how quickly they can get them here to me. Uh, and then meantime, while I'm waiting for those, I should be able to get it all done so that the only thing I'm waiting on is the drive shafts when they come in put them on and take it to go get uh, alignment but until then the rear is for the most part in for the most part might have a little compression issue on one of the so shocks when I tried to Jack it up. I don't know if it was really compressing that well because it looked a little off. Looked a little off. I also don't have the track bar in yet, so that could have probably been part of it. But uh, yep. Other than that, getting there. I'm exhausted today. Done for now.